Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Ivan DJ Superfly doing a quick little review rundown of the uh, new phase uh, update. Uh, of course, it being beta right now. I kind of want to go over through the software and just kind of show you all the things that I've been noticing lately and some questions that I've been getting from people, you know, to seeing if uh, it's able to hook up to a mixer. So, um, yeah, so let's get into it. So as you can see, uh, I got it hooked up already. I got it here and it's literally on a USB cable and uh, running into the mixer back here. And then the mixer is being uh, into uh, pushed into Serato. So, um, it's all connected all good to go and i've been messing with it for uh a few hours here and it seems to be working just perfect um the only thing that i do uh that i have noticed is um the meter part i do have this usb meter uh how much voltage and amps are, are uh, uh, each usb port is um outputting so um i kind of just want to uh, put a big red flag out there for people that want to uh, use phase with the mixture it is possible because that's the way i have it hooked up right now um, but there is a little hiccup um, because there's not enough amps going out of this uh, where it's going to charge it, um, where it's actually going to charge the remotes. So I'll show you that in a bit. Uh, but I kind of wanted to go through with the little new settings that they come up with. And um, first with Serato. So as you can see here with Serato, they got a little uh, battery display, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't have the other one hooked up here. Let me change it. So we change it to wireless mode and it's charging right now so but i think that's pretty cool uh you can see it over here if i take it off 100 percent, sweet and that was quick like it didn't even have to like wait uh this is 33 32 because i've been messing with it um and i've been using a setting that's like kind of uh, using more signal and it's going to use more battery so uh i've noticed um that it's died like quick so I'll probably switch these out in a bit. But anyways, I thought that was a pretty cool new feature that they added. The fact that they're able to display the batteries on there um, without you having to, you know, open the app. So there's a pretty cool feature that they added to um, the face program here, which is pretty cool. Um, many DJs are familiar with uh, calibrating the remotes. Of course, if you have both remotes um, on the turntable wow. spinning at a now. zero pitch, you can either have it you know, at the zero. Um, or uh, quartz lock. Make sure you turn that on on both turntables. And for the sake of the demonstration, I'm just going to show you one. Um, you go to the GUI, you start it, and it should be a pretty uh, fast process. So you can always check in Serato just to make sure you can see here in Serato that it is a true zero. I'll play it. So show you. It might be off here and there, but it could be your turntables are bad. That's how you're able to tell as well if you if it's scraping. There's plates that bend um, or platters that bend. So um, just put it out there. If you know you have a bad turntable, or if you don't know you have a bad turntable, you can use this. Um, but I want to show you the cool new feature, which is the um, double tap calibration. So if you enable that, um, you're able to do it without having to open up the program. So. I already have it enabled. Oh, yeah. You pay attention Whoa, to slow down. Uh, the remote here. I'm gonna double tap it twice. Up. You kind of have to do it hard sometimes. There it goes. It started. And I don't know if you've seen that, but the light was going up, and it turned green. Uh, and that just necessarily it only does it when you're running it again on, on two pitch zero. There it goes. And it's green. So there we go. We can double check the Serato just to make sure that we got a true uh, zero pitch. Wow. Um, I thought that was cool. Um, I think uh, uh, them adding features like this makes it uh, a pretty cool thing because you know, they just update the firmware and add stuff um, to the program and you know to everything just to make it work seamlessly. And uh, Yeah. Um, so next up, I'm going to talk about the boost radio signal. So... Um, I know people have been having issues with uh, noisy environments, meaning wireless. You know, if you're in an area where you got a lot of uh, wireless mics, a lot of wireless routers and, and all that. So this just helps boost it. Uh, I have mine turned on just because I'm, you know, I have 
bunch of routers at, at, in my home my house and i want to make sure that uh it doesn't interfere with it but if i'm on a gig i can turn it off and that just uses more battery so um we don't want to do that in a live gig gig because it's just gonna suck anyways um and talking about batteries so uh what i talked about earlier was the fact that if you want to be able to use phase connected to a mixer uh, you can do it but there's a caveat um, basically what i've been noticing and what i've been testing is uh, because i have this little uh, usb tester it kind of gives me uh, voltage and amps and lets me know you know how much uh, voltage or amps uh, a specific usb port gives me uh, unfortunately uh, fave if i pick it out here I'm going to show you guys what I mean. Uh, let's turn it on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add the remote on here. So the issue is that if you're going to use the mixer, um, and let's say you want to charge it, you're not going to be able to charge the remotes like how you normally do on a specific, um, uh, like let's say your USB, uh, pour it off your computer or you know those little uh, block adapters that you use because the voltage on the mixer on especially the, the 72 i don't know about the the new pioneers that are, that are out there um uh, it gives me a, a voltage of you know four 450 um, and that's with the remotes on there and you can see the amps there's not enough amps outputting into the phase uh, base to be able to charge them uh, and i've encountered this issue where sometimes i'd be at a gig and the remotes wouldn't charge so uh because i had it connected here and now the issue was that these usb ports on the back of uh, the mixer uh, are not outputting the right amount of amps needed and it's the right amount of voltage but there's not enough amps going out into <laughs> um phase now if i take off the remotes as you can see here uh the amps is fine that is normally fine because it's not it's not requiring so much um electricity into the base because it's not charging or doing anything right now it's functioning correctly and i've done this test as well where i have a hook up to you know a, a different usb um to my laptop so it only runs about you know uh point uh two eight two nine uh amps and the voltage is, is kind of the same it, it bumps up and down it just depends you know sometimes it's good to run clean signals or clean um those clean uh, power conditioners to get you know that specific um good clean electronic signal so if you don't know about those and uh i know a lot of wedding djs know about that so <laughs> i got I got a few of those um, and just to show you here I'm gonna disconnect it and and I'm gonna run it into the side of the turntable why because this also has a USB because uh, you can interlink interlink the reloop turntables and I'm gonna show you here so you can see the voltage is still about 4.7 or whatever it is and the amps needed to run the base is still you know pretty low but if i add the remotes you're gonna see that jump up here so uh it needs about 0.60 amps to charge it and if you remember earlier it was way less than that <laughs> so almost half half of what's needed to charge them and you can see both of them are charging now now this is how you're able to tell if your usb port has specific um the right amount of amps to charge uh the remotes and if you see it we'll switch it over to the to the mixer now of course if i have it this way then i won't be able to use face because this needs to be hooked up to the the laptop or computer or whatever you're running and sorry give me a sec here i gotta find it there it is so see how low that is it was 0.60 and if you look at the remotes only one side is charging 
The other one isn't. I mean, it says it is, but if we look in the phase manager, um, give me one sec here. Um, I mean, it does say that it's kind of charging, but I've noticed that this side uh, won't charge. I mean, it says it's charging, but again, I can prove that here with the USB meter uh, that there's not enough amps going out. So this is going to give me problems at gigs and whatnot. So I know that if I'm going to go to a gig and I'm, I need to charge them, I'm not going to use a mixer. I'm going to use a block or directly connect them to uh, the laptop. So if, you know, just for the sakes of uh, uh, um, not having them, you know, screw up or whatnot. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. And I hope everybody <laughs> that's watching this video notices that 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 if you're going to be using this, I know because everybody's trying to eliminate having so many USB uh, hubs or they don't have enough ports so they have to run a bunch of dongles and stuff like that and they want to use this. Just bear in mind that you're going to have to have um, uh, uh, the remotes charged before you actually use it in the mixer. And, you know, right now mine is at one's at 30 percent. Um, and it's not going to go up. Like I said, I've tried it. It's going to go up real slow and I'd rather get more amps going into it by plugging it, you know, to a, a different source, like I said. And I know that the turntable is, is, is inputting, you know, voltage directly from the wall. So there's nothing else hooked up to it. So I know it's going to give me the correct amount of um, voltage and amps. Uh, but see, the full voltage is kind of the same. So... Um, there is a little other different things that I've tried just to verify that um, that number isn't is, is not really changing drastically. Um, you kind of see it there now one side stopped. So that kind of worries me. Um, maybe the turntable is not enough to run. Let's see I'm gonna disconnect it. And I just did that just for the sakes of, of I haven't even actually tried it in the uh, in the turntable. So there we go. They're both charging now. Oh, one stop. So I think that was 100%. That's why. But this one, when, when we hooked it up to the mixer, it's not charging. So I know when that one is 100%, it just stops. Um, now we'll try it with a uh, battery bank, which I'm assuming a lot of people do. And this is what I do as well when I'm, you know, on the road or whatever. I need to turn it on. So let's see here. So, yep, we got a little bit more higher voltage uh, and the amps about 0.50. Um, you know, what we're looking for to make sure that they're charging correctly is 0.60. Uh, and I've gotten that voltage from a laptop. So. Uh, or uh, a block, uh, the, the ones you connect right to the wall. Um, but I think it's 0.50 because the this one's already charged, so it's not you know necessarily needing more um, amps. I just kind of removed it just to show you. And we'll take both out, and then and just to run the base, like I said, it needs uh, 0 0.27, 26. Uh, so if you're going to run phase using the mixer, um, I highly recommend that you have your remotes charged. Um, and that's just going to eliminate the, the, the confusion of, all right, well, <laughs> my remotes are not charging or they're not working. We're having issues is because of that. And, this not necessarily you know uh, before we'd have to run the rca cables into the mixer and now um, since we're just using one usb cable um, we know that uh, there's not much more information being sent to it because the sound would have you know you're eliminating a step if that makes sense and i explained that in my last video um, when uh, the phase uh, beta was released so again this is a beta version that might change in the future um, I'm not completely sure how uh, rain or phase or whatever is gonna maybe fix this, but it's it's not necessarily you know phase's fault. It's not um, rain's fault either because they didn't think that this USB hub was gonna be used for something like that. Um, I can tell you that if you're gonna be running it this way, uh, all you're sending is MIDI information. You're not sending audio in or whatnot, so it, the base doesn't need uh, a lot of power anyway. So. Um, Get a little bit of higher apps here, so cool. So yeah, I'm just gonna mess around, 
play around here for the bit so we kind of want to see what the uh what the, the the new phase update is like i've noticed that it is much more on point like the drift is gone like there's there's no drift which is crazy and it's hooked up so we'll confirm that it's running on pitch zero here it's not even detecting it so let's go back if not let's see if we can fix it this way nope. oh i know why because i don't have the thing here selected and i, I need to get used to this because <laughs> This is just something new. And I'm just going to use internal mode on you. So I got a beat laying over here and I'm just going to scratch. So, yeah.